So none of them have ever done this before? Uh, I'd say there are at least seven of them that have done this before. Have been present for the firing. I told them all to try and get themselves, um, try and get everything going as fast as possible. The quickest they can start setting up a kiln and getting it firing, uh, the more work they'll get done today. The kitchen and see what's going on with food prep. Like getting, like we basically need food snacks. To tell my father she um, needs anything in particular in terms of assistance with um, getting the. Oh, oh here, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Okay, there's only one, but look, I lined this one. Do you think this would be okay? I think that would totally be okay. And we can use this. So I think we we're good. You good? With, with this, this. Yeah. Search for your uh, gloves. They don't tighten. When you go to, that's something to do with what happens when you tighten something as opposed to when you loosen something. And if you tighten something in line and they're connected, one, two, three. If you go to loosen, everything will unloosen. Whereas if you do it, if, if, if you have a plumbing thread that goes the other way, then suddenly it didn't work. So is that a towel I guess it is? No, it's gonna have to go all the way in. But I need. with the first part of the setup. I really appreciate all your help um, and it bodes well for the day. I want to explain a couple things. A lot of it is about technically about what's happening which is about the ceramic process and I really would love you guys to have as best understanding as possible. If this were nighttime what you'd be seeing would be fairly dramatic. The flame of this thing coming out of it is usually about four feet Long. You can't see it right at this very moment because in the daylight it's sort of a combination of light and infrared radiation. So at nighttime it would look rather dramatic. Certainly you can hear it, right? Can you hear the difference between what was going on before I lit it and after? That's the sound of a burning flame, of a flame that's lit. You always want to hear that sound when the gas is on. If you don't, let me know, okay? The best thing to do would be to turn off the valve and wait for me to come over. Okay. About 35 minutes, 40 minutes, what you're going to see inside these kilns is actually glowing hot atmospheric space. When it gets to be above 900 degrees, the beginning of incandescence, when actually heat starts to radiate light, you'll see a dull red heat. And then when it gets up to the temperature of maturing for the glazes, it'll be around 1800 to 1900 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it'll be like kind of a bright orange inside the kiln. So when you guys are, when these things reach temperature, I'm going to gather you around again and give you a kind of a tiny little pep talk that reminds you of how things would go. But basically, anyone who has a piece in here is going to take a pair of tongs and be ready to basically, when the kiln comes up, the gas is going to get turned off. People are going to come over, grab their wares, bring them over to those bins over there, and there'll be people manning each garbage can with a small pile of straw and the lid in hand, hopefully with gloves on their hand. What you guys are going to do is when the piece comes into the bucket, it's going to sit down into a nest of straw. It's going to instantly burst into flames. You guys are going to throw more hay on top of it and then cover the bin, smothering the, the piece and generating the smoke. All right. As you might imagine from the description, that's kind of a hairy moment. Um, you guys need to be kind of calm and relatively collected and listening to me and each other because as people are going back, there are new people coming forward with molten hot pots in their grasp. 
that's really easy in the sort of commotion to sort of lose your sense of where you are and where your peers are. So try really hard to be like cool, collected, and listening as best you can in those moments. what a potter would call a reduced atmosphere. And that's the whole purpose of today's activity. It can take blazes that in the electric pill normally go to oxidation, copper, cobalt, and iron, and now make them go into reduction, both through the firing, but mostly as they cool in these bins with the source of the hay, as it's smothered and as it burns and cools in those bins. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah? This one first. You may want to watch what it looks like when the lid comes up. It's going to lose the seat pretty quickly. You guys all ready? Wow. wow. Okay, go ahead. Awesome. Which one's you? I'm going to grab yours, okay? Can you please grab it? Guys, hold on. People pulling props. Mr. Ruben. Mr. Ruben. Mr. Ruben. Yeah. This has like these parts on them. Okay, what did we just do? Why do we have to switch? Switch. 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 Switch.